Hello children, welcome back to another exciting science class. So, what are you doing right now? Watching this video, obviously. Children, do you know we do so many activities throughout the day like reading, writing, eating, sleeping, playing and so on. But there is an activity that we do all the time, whether we are awake or asleep. And we don't even realize that we are doing this activity. Can you guess what am I talking about? Yes, you guessed it right. I'm talking about breathing. Breathe in, breathe out. That's what we do throughout. Put your finger right below your nostrils. What do you feel? You feel the air that we throw out in the process of breathing. Breathing is absolutely essential to make our bodies work. You must have noticed that when you run or exercise, then you start breathing heavily. That's because then your body needs more oxygen. And you get the oxygen from the air around you. Without oxygen, you'll be like a car without fuel or a waterless pool. Wouldn't that be really uncool? Let's perform an activity together. Try to hold your breath by covering your nostrils. For how much time can you do it? I know it's a difficult task for you. We just cannot survive without breathing. But what is breathing or respiration? How do we define it? The process of inhaling oxygen and exhaling carbon dioxide together is called breathing or respiration. Would you like to learn about the organs that help us in respiration or breathing? The respiratory system consists of the nose, the windpipe and the lungs. You breathe in air through your nose. The dust particles and the germs present in the air are trapped by the tiny hair present in your nose. The clean air then enters the windpipe or trachea. The trachea branches out to two tubes called bronchi. The bronchi carry air to each lung where oxygen from the air passes into the blood and is then distributed by it to the different parts of your body. The impure carbon dioxide passes from the blood into the lungs and is expelled. When you breathe in, the lungs expand and the volume of the lungs increases. Thus, air from the outside enters the lungs. When you breathe out or exhale, the lungs contract and the volume of your lungs decreases, just like balloons. As a result, air is pushed out from the lungs. So now we know that inhalation and exhalation together constitute respiration or breathing. The nose, the windpipe and the lungs are the main organs of our respiratory system. These organs help us breathe in fresh air and supply oxygen to all parts of the body through the blood. The main function of this system is to take in oxygen rich air and give out carbon dioxide rich air. Children, you already know that living things cannot survive without breathing. Yes, we need fresh air for breathing. But where do we get fresh air from? We get fresh oxygen rich air from plants. They produce the oxygen that we need to breathe and live. Our health depends a lot on the quality of air that we breathe in. You must have noticed that air feels so fresh and clean in gardens, parks and even in villages. But it doesn't feel the same in cities. Do you know why this happens? This happens because the air in the cities gets polluted by smoke. And yes, cities have fewer trees also. We will talk about the problem of air pollution and what we can do to control it in our next class. Till then, take good care of yourselves. Bye-bye.